let's quickly review EQ, pan control, and the mute button. So you have a low, a mid, and a high. If you need more lows, you, you just turn up the lows. If you need more highs, turn up the highs. Need more mids? Just turn up the mids. Those are exaggerated level changes. You would never do that in a real mix. Now let's take a look at the pan control. Pan does just what it says, left or right. You can pan it left, and you'll hear it only coming out of the left, or you can pan it to the right, and you come out of the right. Center comes out of both the main left and right. Then you have mute. Press in mute and it mutes the channel. Okay, let's take a look at solo mode now. When you press these two buttons in, the signal keeps playing through the mains and the monitors, but it also now goes through the headphones. So when you want to hear a certain channel, you just want to hear the mic, you press solo on that channel. And then you listen through the headphones. You just want to hear the left output of the CD player, Press solo on that channel. So once you press the solo button on a channel, which we just pressed the solo button on the CD player channels one and two, you get this what is called a rude solo light. That tells you you have a solo button pressed. So what we do is let's plug our headphones in. And in order to listen to the, the channel, you have to press solo mode. 
And when you do that, you got to turn up the control room submix fader. And you get audio coming out of the headphones on whatever channel that you selected. Let's take a look at a few of the other functions and outputs and inputs on this mixing board. So obviously you have an auxiliary send to. You have a tape in and a tape out. Tape in, we could just plug the CD player that we have and we could just plug it in there with the RCA's. Tape out usually used for recording. When you plug tape out into a recording device you can record your show. These last channels here are line input channels. You can only use line inputs for these channels. These line input channels are set up the same way as you would a regular channel on the board. I'm going to unplug the CD player quarter inch connectors from line in one, line in two, and I'm going to plug them in this channel here, this line input channel. One technical note you need to know about line input channels is most have a button for plus four level or minus ten level. Plus four is professional line level. Minus ten is consumer line level. Professional levels are steady plus four dB line level signals. Consumer levels are much lower and are at minus 10 dB. So when you press the button in it gives it a little more boost to bring it up to plus 4 dB. So with the connectors plugged into this line input all we have to do now is turn up the fader. 